G'day, I'm Carlos Sands. This is my corner. Now one thing any of you out there will know if you've ever done this, if you've ever written anything on the question of the Israel-Palestine conflict that has expressed the controversial view that possibly Palestinians are human beings and they might have some rights, you will have come across uh, this phenomenon. You get the supporters of Israel bombarding in comments, making arguments that I'm sorry, are just utter crap. Here's one that I actually got this. It goes like this. You're talking about Israel. You're talking about Israel. What about, what about the lack of democracy in Iran uh, and Saudi Arabia uh, and Sudan? Uh, what about, what about that? This is not a good argument. I'd like to see you try this in a court of law. And say, oh yes, you're right. Yes, I killed the bastard, yes. But you should have seen what they did two houses down. You should have seen what they got up to. Do you really think the judge is going to turn to you and go, oh, that's all right, Israel? Why didn't you say so? They kill people too. Ha <laughs> ha! Free to go. You're free to go. Have a lollipop in the golden fucking heights. We all know what their big gun is. They pull it out repeatedly. If you suggest the view that maybe perhaps, I don't know, like maybe using white phosphorus to burn children alive in, in Gaza during Operation Cast Lead was maybe just a little extreme, a little bit over the top. Fucking anti-Semite. Fucking anti-Semite. You are fucking Adolf Hitler reincarnated. Here in this country, we know it for the protesters that went out against Max Brenner. Because Max Brenner uh, happens to sponsor two Israeli military units that are responsible for particularly gross crimes against humanity, actual existing war crimes. What was their response? The Murdoch media, the Labour Party politicians, everyone jumps in. The most ridiculous was an article in August 13 by Cameron Stewart in The Australian. It was headlined, Targeted chocolatier Max Brenner, a man of peace. And I want to actually give you a quote from this article, a very heartfelt piece about a poor cho a Jewish chocolatier caught, stunned to find himself in the middle of the, the Middle East conflict. Max Brenner says he's a man of peace who hates all forms of violence. An outraged Cameron Stewart writes, So how has this chocolatier become the target of anti-Israel protests in Australia who accuse him of being complicit with the Israeli military? Stuart um, tells his readers that Max Brenner was not available for an interview. Uh, but he produced this quote in 2009. I want you to think about this. In which Brenner apparently he responded to the protest by saying, whether it's Israel or not, anything to do with violence, aggressiveness or appearing a protest or boycott seems silly to me. But then again, I'm just a chocolate maker. But the most impressive thing about this heart-tugging piece is Max Brenner does not even fucking exist. There is no Max Brenner. It is a corporate creation. Who the hell was Cameron Stewart interviewing? How does this get in to a mainstream newspaper? This is the equivalent of Cameron Stewart getting a quote from Ronald McDonald saying, I'm really upset because some people call my hamburgers shit. Maybe there is a point here. Maybe we should be more considerate of the feelings of fictitious characters. Far be it from me to be callous towards the needs of pretend people. It does actually break the heart. You think about poor Max Brenner, fictitious Max Brenner, crying himself to sleep every night, make-believe tears rolling down his not-really-there face as he puts his head in the non-existent pillow. Hi, oh, I'm Carly Sands. That was my call.